everyone associated with the real estate business is wishing and hoping for the market to turn around. But the potential buyer who can inject new life into the market is choosing to stay away. One reason is the lack of trust. With lakhs of buyers still waiting for their homes to be delivered in the national capital region, what is going to happen? Well, what is shocking is that some of the biggest names of the industry have become the biggest fears for the buyers. 80-year-old Amarnath Verma is no stranger to the business of buying and selling property. He lives in a posh locality in Delhi, having bought a property here when it was being sold at throwaway prices. Today though, even a savvy businessman and investor like him finds himself helpless. Mr. Verma chose to buy a flat in Unitec Habitat in Greater Noida, which proved to be a big mistake. Seven years plus, with no apartment in sight, he is tired and disillusioned. I had been buying and selling some properties which I bought from DLF also. So on that case, I thought they would also do it. But I never knew that by the time time comes to complete, they would be in such a bad position. A few times I went there as well, but many times I would phone. And then their reply would be, no, no, it is under construction, under completion, this and that. Now the last I talked to them, they said, no, it would take at least one more year. Mandira Mukherjee also fell for the big name and the dreams that were being sold by the JP Group in 2008. She booked a flat in JP Calypso and six years hence is still waiting. Mandira had no option but to buy herself another home recently at a huge financial burden to her. It is a severe constraint on my finances. I am forced to take another loan to buy another uh, accommodation. Very recently, I waited for eight years almost and stayed in a rented house and patiently waited that JP would deliver, JP would deliver, but they never delivered. And there is no sign also that they would deliver in, uh, in near future. There are lakhs of jilted home buyers like Amarnath and Mandira in Delhi NCR. There are around 16,000 homes that are delayed in Faridabad with an average delay of 44 months. Noida leads the pack with more than 1,8,000 units with an average delay of 31 months. Greater Noida is no better with more than 1,4,000 homes still waiting to be delivered and with an average delay of 37 months. Gurgaon fares a bit better but still has shocking statistics of more than 73,000 delayed homes and average delay of 31 months. Leading developers are breaking promises and there is no accountability. JP has delayed more than 30,000 homes by more than 18 months and their average delay is 34 months. Unitec is making buyers of more than 9,000 homes wait while their average delay is 34 months too. Emar MGF has delayed almost 6,000 homes with an average of 30 months. Unfortunate for the industry, even those developers who have a strong delivery record like ATS, Bestec, Gorsons and Vatika are suffering the brunt of shattered buyer confidence. The truth of the matter is that we now are facing a lot of delays because of the approval processes, because of uh, escalation in material costs. So these issues, you know, need to be actually dovetailed into the delivery schedule by the developer. So if you're giving a delivery time which is too ambitious of two years or three years, kindly relook at it. Every time that a developer breaks his promise and says to a buyer that maybe we will be able to deliver your home by next year, it breaks the heart of the buyer just a little bit more. Though we do understand the extreme financial duress that the real estate industry is facing, but what we fail to understand is how can the government be totally oblivious to the sufferings of numerous buyers? From New Delhi, this is Anjali Istwal for NDTV. Well, we contacted both the companies, uh, actually all three that we've listed out there, and Unitec replied and so did JP. And what did Unitec have to say? 
It says that we've ramped up construction activity and workforce deployment at our sites. This has helped the company to significantly accelerate deliveries in its various projects. The company is gearing up to further increase the pace of deliveries in the coming quarters. That's Sanjay Chandra, MD Unitech. But buyers are still waiting and sometimes they're not even getting a reply on projects which have been lying abandoned for seven years. JP Group says to NDTV, due to various reasons, uh, including some which were beyond the control of the company, I'm wondering what these are. There have been delays in completing the construction and handing over possession of the units in JP Green's Wishtown Noida. The delay in the NCR region is getting further compounded due to the NGT order, which now is behind us, we all know, restricting issuance of compliance certificates and completion certificates. The company, however, remains committed to completing all projects. Uh, well, Rohit Raj Modi, VP Kridai and Director Ashiana Homes, Kapil Kumar, VP Purva. He is a member of one of the homeowners association who were invited by the housing ministry for the real estate regulator bill draft consultation. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. I mean, we've seen the plight. Uh, Mr. Kapil Kumar, I believe you joined this movement for the real estate regulator simply being one of the parties affected, isn't it? Because, uh, you know, in Delhi NCR or all over India, buyers are impacted. A uh, simple home buyer deploy all their money in a house for a dream home. But after two years, three years, four years, no delivery from okay. the builder side. So, so, you know, we almost had a regulator built, right? And then uh, there was a group of home buyers who went and met Mr. Rahul Gandhi and said, guess what, this is very lenient for the home buyers. Was this really needed? Yeah, it's really what, needed. What was missing? Because, because according to me, other than the provisions, with provision of the escrow account which was diluted, rest of the provisions were all there which home buyers needed. Basically, major thing is fund diversion. Why all projects are delayed? Mm -hmm. Because builders are diverted their fund from one project to another project. So you were saying 60% is not enough? Not Don't enough. Don't you think we needed a bill and we could have got that done later rather than now? No. Everybody using it as... The point to stop the bill. No, That's what no, they no. It's not a point of stopping the bill because if it should be, we required it should be hundred percent. If it's hundred percent, then builder will be liable to deliver the project because if a builder get their profit in initial level, why he, he should so he or she should be the okay. bother about it? Rohit, you yeah. respond to that. This is yeah. the biggest problem. How much money I should be kept in the that, escrow yeah. account? And, uh, I think he's he's feeling the pinch of it. His life savings have gone into a project by Patel Engineering. I'm going to. It's a listed company. Yeah, not a, once did they think that the company wouldn't deliver. The project Rohit was launched in 2009. It was not launched launched in 2000, uh, 2007 or 8, where the builders were caught unawares in the meltdown. It was launched after the meltdown, yeah. and they're still waiting. It's 2014. Uh, I cannot uh, argue with what uh, he has been going through and what he uh, mentally and physically, what him and so many others would have been going through, uh, and it's not defensible. Uh, so I will not even be trying to defend that. Uh, we talked about bill actually here. And I'll tell you honestly, what seems to be that one dilution of 70% of the inflow being uh, put in Kept the designated account, account right. uh, versus the 50%, mm -hmm. I would take the last bill any day over today's bill. So I don't know people when they're saying that this bill is major dilution, yeah. including the opposition parties or the activist group. I can only say one thing, they have not read the bill. I think okay. the bill is when we far read, more stringent When we read 2015, we lost our sleep. Mm -hmm. In 2013, we thought that the bill had few things which needed, uh, you know, a recalibration to make it balanced. But 2015 has got so many things which will actually put an end to this industry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, even though the intention of the government might have been to balance it and make it a development come regulatory kind of an environment. And, and to answer to your question about that 100%, sir, what they're talking about is the construction cost. So if you are buying a flat for, say, 3,000 rupees, earlier bill used to say that you put 2,100 rupees will be into a designated account to be used only for construction. Right. Thereby saying that the balance 30% is supposed to cover for land, taxes, statutory charges, uh, architect's fees, marketing cost, and then your gross margin. That's not possible. Which is impractical, right? 30% does not include all that. Rightly, 30 to 35% is the right figure which covers the construction cost across India. 
and this is what we had as an industry body had petitioned to the government's last uh, previous government and this government but government in all fairness said that look 70 may be too high but mm -hmm. 30 might seem lopsided in tier 2 and tier 3 markets okay. so we will put it 50 which means that somebody might be at a little pain but, and somebody might get a little bit of a uh, benefit say for example if i'm doing a project in, in mumbai my construction cost is only 20% of the sale value because the land is 60%. But, but Mr. But, Kapil Kumar, but, but, I would agree with that. That, you no, know, 100% no, 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 cannot go into an escrow account. I, I, they have I, already paid for yeah, the land. Yeah. You, We all have to be reasonable. We are also home yeah, buyers. You, my you, project you, is also stuck. In fact, both my projects are stuck. So I don't even want to name the developers with whom my projects are. But amongst those three, two of them, I have bought flats into. Now, the, the question I'm asking is by simply delaying this, uh, issue, you know, by, by saying that no, make it 100%, yeah. you will have no bill. And we have no bill, we will continue to have problems because, for because home buyers. Again, same problem is going there. Uh, Sir is saying the example of Bombay. I told <laughs> you the ex example of Noida. In Noida, land cost is zero because all land are on lease. No. All land are on lease. All land are on lease, and the lease, and no. lease amount is paid by home buyers no, no, only. Lease rent is being paid. Lease rent no, no, is paid no. by home you buyer only. You are factually only. completely incorrect. No, you don't no, know sir. what you are talking about. I am sorry I'm to talking say about that. absolutely right. No, because no, you don't know. Because paid by the home buyer. You don't know what you are talking about. No, no. I don't think that's correct, Mr. Kumar. Lease rent is different. Lease premium is different. You are mixing the two things very badly. Both are paid anyway, by home but, buyers but only. The real estate regulator bill is going to be a national one. So you yeah. have to weigh out all cities, is it? You may be talking about Noida, but you accept the fact that in Bombay land costs are very high. Then if the developer puts 100% in an escrow account, he will not be able to build anything, right? He's already paid for the land. So he must be allowed to take that much. Now, when you're trying to make a balance out of a bill which, which has to be applicable, you have to meet the middle Let ground. me give an example. I agree with his in Noida. I think, though I, I think Faxi has got it mixed up. Bhivadi. Let me take that example of Bhivadi, which sells even lower than Noida extension. Okay, so at 2800 rupees you sell Bhivadi. Cost of construction in Bhivadi is actually at 1200 rupees. And please understand the act says the money is to be used for construction purposes only. It does not allow me to use that money for project development. So I can't use it for paying the consultants, finance charges, uh, land components, etc, etc. So construction cost, uh, Kapilji, is not 100% of the sale value, right? There is land cost, there is profit margin, there is tax, there is development authority charges, there is marketing cost, there is brokerage. All those constitute a large chunk. So when you're, the, and the bill is only saying a recommendation of 50 as a upper limit. Okay. If they want to make it 100%, let them define 100% of the construction cost. Nobody would mind. Okay. I, I would be happier right. if the government wants okay. to decide 100% so, of the construction so I cost. Think, I, think, uh, I think as of now, the current status of the bill, you're not happy as no. a homeowner. You're not happy no, as a developer. So clearly, we should end the discussion. It's great that you know our parliament is anyway not running. Every day it gets adjourned and the bill is not getting passed, right? So we, we just have to, we, we, for reporters and media is great. We'll continue to get stories of more developers having the leverage to actually keep delaying because there is no regulatory part. There has to be a middle no. ground, so, Rohit. Uh, there Amisha, has to be a middle Kredai, ground. Credai is all for the bill. Credai hmm. is not opposing the bill. It hasn't been opposing the bill for the last four years now, since 2011. We understand that the bill will help to regulate the market. We'll have credible developers. We won't have fly-by-nights like where he's stuck, those kind of guys who... Patel Engineering... No, fly-by-night fly by night because... JP, fly-by-night. No, uh, I'm coming let's to just, Let's just I'm be... There, is a, uh, there are fly-by-night operators which will get weeded out and yeah. even those who come with good intentions and then start diverting funds... Will be... Will, will have a check will on have them. Will have a check so on them. So, Creda is yeah. all for that. Okay. All for that. We have only... We have combed through the bills and we have only four or five issues with that which is actually will make this bill a healthy bill. It's not going to favor the builder. Okay. Very quickly outline four and then I will I, ask him for I'll tell answer. you the four. Hundred is not okay. You need to tell me where, where okay. will you stop. First, first point, this bill covers commercial property which earlier wasn't covering. Yeah. Commercial is a very different nuance altogether. 90% of commercial today is being built to lease ultimately to be sold to a as retail. As long as the developers have to not raise money from retail investors. So, they, they give, uh, you know, they give big advertisements saying fixed returns of 12% and we will help you rent it back and lakhs of investors are getting duped there. So one big difference is on that one. Second is a registration. They are saying that you deposit uh, all your approvals to us and we'll give you a deemed approval in 15 days time. Once we give you deemed registration, you can start marketing and building. But 
if we find any anomaly, we can come back to you in three months' time and cancel your registration. We are saying that you make up your mind. Once you give us registration, don't you have no power to cancel you it. You because then it will create a ground of blackmailing and coercion, which we all understand is rampant in the housing and real estate sector. Okay. Okay. That's one major point. Then third, there is a talk about willful default without any defining what is willful default. And it goes on to say that something like anything which has been committed verbally, orally, or in writing, or visually, will constitute a willful default. Now, our point is that anything which has been committed in writing and there is a default, please treat that as a willful default. Tomorrow, somebody can say that I came to your show flat and I saw this, or your guy told me that you know the sun's going to be rising okay, from so west. You're saying describe and and you know make it absolutely scientific yes. on what willful default is. All right, let 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 us. This is a show for the consumer. We've heard you, Kapil Kumar. I am totally with you. I'm also one of the sufferers, right? But I don't think hundred percent is fair. Okay, I think we all have to create and ask for reasonable things. What is reasonable? First of all, 100% is, uh, that's why, uh, okay, because builder are a profit making organization. Okay, now let's not get there. Okay. You cannot, if they are not going to make a profit, yeah, then why that, will they be in the that, business? All right, they yeah, also provide yeah, employment. So to they, they should invest something, no, they should invest something in no, business. No no, 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 this is not an argument. Your argument is, what, they, that is not an argument. That is not an argument. That hundred percent होना चाहिए क्योंकि ये लोग तो बहुत पैसा कमाते तो इनको पूरा पैसा डालना चाहिए. Because due to that, that our our working. flats are not on time. No, because no. fund is diverted from one place okay. to another place. So, I uh, think a fair uh, understanding would and be. And then second that, fair thing okay, is that second. you hmm. see if you want to favor or you want to give some leverage for builder, in that case land cost should be released to builder. Whatever you should. Okay. So you're saying take hundred percent yeah. and then give them back land. Land cost. cost. Allow them to take the land yeah. first. Okay. All right. Okay. We are going to rest the case here. I think we've hogged almost one quarter of the show. This is a topic or a subject which is not going to wrap out. But as I can see it, there's not, not going to be a bill which is going to make anybody happy. And guess what? If a bill does not agree to everybody's norms and conditions or everyone's not happy with it, it's not going to get introduced or passed. So we will probably continue to have a lot of problems and continue to will not have the pleasure of reporting on delays across the country.